Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the MedEd page. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. I want to dive into an important topic in medicine and public health, and that's a respiratory syncytial virus, also known as RSV. It's been getting tons of publicity and buzz in the news because of all these new therapies that could be game changers in preventing severe disease. So what is RSV? Well, it's an extremely common respiratory virus that infects nearly all children by the age of five. And it's the number one cause of hospitalizations in infants, but it doesn't just affect children. In fact, it infects older individuals that are age 65 years and older. So every year in the United States, there are 100,000 hospitalizations in elderly individuals due to RSV. And every year in the United States, there are 10,000 deaths from adults in the US. So how does this virus present? Well, usually symptoms are mild and that's the good news, right? Usually there are cold-like symptoms. Patients usually have fever, cough, sore throat, runny nose, feels like a simple cold. But in a minority of patients, it can actually result in infection in the lung. We call that pneumonia. And it can also result in infection and inflammation of the airways. And we call that bronchiolitis. And sometimes patients have difficulty breathing and they start to wheeze and they can't breathe on their own. So in a minority of patients, they have to be hospitalized. And often that can be a dramatic thing for families to go through. So how is it actually treated? Well, usually for most patients, because the symptoms are mild, we do nothing. And, or we just give, you know, certain pain relief medications and then that's it. Patients get better in a week or two. But in those minority of patients that have to go to the hospital, we have to often give supportive therapy like IV fluids because they're dehydrated or even oxygen because they can't breathe well. And the worst scenario is when they can't breathe on their own, they have to be put on a ventilator. And of course, that can be really emotionally traumatizing for loved ones. Imagine a parent seeing their child on a ventilator. Or imagine you seeing your parent or a grandparent on a ventilator. It can certainly be really emotionally traumatizing. But the good news is, is that there are amazing new therapies that can actually prevent severe infection. What do we mean by that? Well, prevent hospitalization, hopefully death. And these therapies are tailored to three different groups of patients. The first one is those that are age 60 years and older. There are two new vaccines that are pretty similar in efficacy that are excellent in preventing severe disease. The first vaccine is known as Orexvi, manufactured by GSK, and the other is a Breezlo manufactured by Pfizer. And these are one-shot injections that provide immunity for up to a year against RSV. And they're great because they're vaccines. They prime the body to form antibodies that can help fight off infection. The second therapy is actually mainly for infants and toddlers. So this is a monoclonal antibody called Bifortis. And this is also a one-time injection, but the relief and the protection is more temporary, mainly only for the winter RSV season, maybe three or four months. And that's because it's not a vaccine. It's not going to prime your body to form antibodies. It's actually man-made antibodies that are being injected in you, and it's only going to provide temporary relief. Now, the final class of therapies is actually for pregnant moms in their third trimester. So they can also get the Abrizvo Pfizer vaccine, and that will help prevent severe illness in the pregnant mom and also the newborn infant for up to six months. And the way that the newborn infant is protected is because the antibodies that form from the vaccine get passed going to the baby through the placenta. So three amazing therapies that can really change the landscape for RSV and hopefully bring RSV hospitalizations and deaths down in this upcoming year. So if you're eligible and you think that you could benefit from this, please talk to your doctor about this and please learn more about the RSV therapies. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please support our mission in supporting global health for free worldwide. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.